With Microsoft Dynamics AX, you can create, process, and invoice service orders. From this screen, you can create both standard and web service orders, as well as view transactions from these orders. Let's create a new service order. We'll select a customer and enter their service item information. The service order has now been created and is listed as clean ticket under service stage. This means the technicians can now take a look at the lawnmower. However, as the technicians look at the lawnmower, they notice that the engine needs a new carburetor. If the shop had any carburetors in stock, we would enter this as an additional item. Since this shop does not have any additional carburetors in stock, we will enter this as an expense. After this, we will move the service order on to the next stage, which will be waiting for parts. As you can see, the service stage is now waiting for parts. When the part arrives at the shop, we will move this on to the next stage, which is in repair. Once the item has been repaired, we can move this on to the next stage where the shop will check if the item that was serviced is still under warranty. The warranty has been checked and this particular lawnmower is past the date of its warranty. So now we can move it on to the final stage. Now that the repair is complete, we can invoice the customer for the service. We'll start by posting the service order. Then we'll create a new invoice proposal. After this, we'll post the selected invoice. Note that you can view the invoice separated by the subjects, such as hour or expense. You can also view the invoice as a complete summary instead of as different subjects. From here, you can view the invoice, print it, or export it to Microsoft Excel. Let's export it to Microsoft Excel. Here, Microsoft Dynamics AX generates this invoice as a spreadsheet. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.